baby Niger Chomzi enjoying her soft life since she got married. So guys, you all know that Chomzi got married sometime last year to her one and only hobby of life. And if at that time, the guy took to his social media to write beautiful, beautiful, beautiful notes about Chomzi. Of course, you guys know Chomzi is a beautiful SBB Niger housemaid and Rumors had it then that she was pregnant, but after some time, um, video and pictures of their traditional wedding surfaced online, and she's then. Hmm, Chomzi has really been enjoying her baby girl soft life. In fact, this guy is really, really so much in love with her. Of course, sources had it that his ex-wife, or would I say his ex-girlfriend i think it was his ex-wife okay that the relationship wasn't really a smooth one it wasn't a good one and you know they were like talking about um dv and all that but with chomzy hmm, guys it's a different story altogether because it seems chomzy is like the love of his life his peace of mind his blah 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 so whatever chomzy does at times you see her in the kitchen cooking he uploads it and like he's really 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 so much in love with Chomzy, of course, Chomzy is a beautiful girl, you guys know, uh, tall, beautiful, elegant Chomzy, well, it is what it is, that's it anyway, some ladies make an, a man a better man for another person, still likewise the ladies, a guy can prepare a lady and make her a better woman for another guy, so Chomzy, hmm, heavily pregnant she's enjoying her baby girl soft life and you guys know maybe she's not going to have her baby in the country probably it will travel us to have her child but we'll say big congratulations and she's really enjoying somebody said hmm can you imagine all these goodies that's what you guys would have loved her to like ended up with was his name elo swag of course elo swag can't give her this kind of baby girl life now nah. it's not possible elo swag cannot afford all this it's no more see mansion see cars see hmm. no no nah. elo swag is still upcoming but i'm not trying to say that mm. True love does not exist, and I'm not trying to say that it must uh, it must be an already made man, okay? But probably she wasn't really into Ella Swag, okay? Yeah, some persons were saying, hmm, after BB Niger House, you know, Chomzy like moved on, media around, she wasn't even talking about Ella Swag, she wasn't even like acting like they had something in the house. Some person said it's because of this guy, okay, he was already there or something. Well, we don't know, but what we know is that, hmm, Jamzy is enjoying her baby girl's soft life in her husband's house. I will continue to say a big congratulations to her. We wish her safe, safe delivery whenever she's, you know, due to have her baby, a healthy mom, a healthy baby that's all what we pray for and it seems yeah you guys can see she's happy she's happy she's fulfilled she's just there though the child you guys know lots of um, bbn housemates we are not present it was just like mm, a low-key store just within her household and you know just few friends and all that so that is that for chomzy guys moving on from there guys you guys know our nina of bbn nina was season 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 right yeah it was their season season guys if you see nina now god you guys won't be able to recognize nina you know that time she gave birth and um she had her baby and so had it that she traveled then she was out of the country and all that nina is in fact a video surfaced sometime two weeks ago where she um had this tattoo very beautiful tattoo 
on her abdominal region and the reason was hmm, that childbirth of the cesarean section gave her one kind of mark and she wasn't really comfortable with it so she like needed to cover it up with a tattoo hmm, guys i said not be smart thing no seriously guys see nina like hey like they pumped her you guys know the smallest nina now uh -uh. hey it's not like they pumped nina like i don't understand guys she's looking cute beautiful yeah though she's married but mm, i don't really know how far we are married now though but yeah she's a mom and yeah i guess she's doing very very well i guess she's doing, doing very well but she hasn't really been that um that too active on social media if i after they left the house her issue with miracle later we heard she got married and she had her baby but guys if you see nina recently oh my goodness you won't believe it was that smallish girl nina we used to see back then in the house you guys know nina now nina with mir it was not nina and miracle right <laughs> oh my goodness it's just like a kind of flashback but yeah baby girl is looking fine if i had tattoo that first clip you guys saw she had a tattoo there it was actually looking beautiful i said well it is her body mm -hmm. this time around whatever anyone wants to do as long as you can afford it to hey you want to enhance your body you have your money it's fine whatever you want to do as long as you can afford it <laughs> but me i've said it too i don't think i want to go under the knife for cosmetic purposes i don't think me myself want to do that too. i don't know the reasons anyway but anything anyone wants to do you can afford it is it bblo is it which one you feel fine i can afford this i want to do as long as it makes you happy because Number one thing now, your happiness comes first. As long as it makes you happy, it makes you feel like most times when ladies do this, people feel it's just because of the men, just because of the guys, their husband and all that. No, some people enhance their body just to feel that confidence, just because it's what they want. They want to achieve the look they're actually looking for. So guys, that's just it for Nina of BB Niger. So we are moving to Adekule. Hmm. Adekule, hey, Adekule, Olok Pada, Abi Olok Pade, Abi Olok Pade, sorry guys, you forgive me, I'm not a Yoruba, Adekule guys know our bad boy Dex now, <laughs> that Sabi Radio and whoever wanted to drag it, but that's not the gist anyway, Adekule has come to make this post, you know like this baby himself see that is airing now, Lots of persons are watching it. Me, myself, I'm also watching people in Sassy. In fact, I thought I was not going to enjoy it. But seriously, guys, you know, one thing with TV reality is that once you start watching, of course, you see something that will make you glue. You want to know what happens. And you guys know how it is. Housemates confined in a place. Before you know it, start catching feelings, stuff like that, ships. You see very good ones. You see bad ones, like, you know. So, like, Adekule has been following it, sort of, and he was like, oh, God, was it really what his fans actually went through? Like, he's just putting himself in those person's shoes. He's just, like, imagining, okay, imagine this was the way I was in the house, and this was the way fans are just, like, going out of their way for me. Because, guys, okay, you guys know today was... um nomination day after the head of house games okay so some persons about five persons how five housemates were nominated for for possible eviction and voting has started of course if you go to twitter hey fans rivalry has started normal housemates are in the house but fans outside have said like banter i want to vote this person i want to do that so like adekule has really you know just been watching probably following and we like wow was it really what these people we are actually going through for my sake so he just took to his um twitter to appreciate and this was what he had to say if i had to write a very long episode guys i'm going to read it out for you guys to hear what our bad boy dex wrote at times true understanding only comes when you witness things from a different perspective 
observing the scrutiny, opinions, and narratives surrounding the lives of the BB Nsasi housemates, people who took a chance to seek a better life, is eye opening. Having experienced this twice without fully understanding what, go what goes on on the outside, my half year gratitude goes out once again to those who supported me during overwhelming moments, okay, giving up moments, sharing moments, and of course, heart wrenching moments. Thank you, thank you to every single one. You know, when I had to say <coughs> this thing is not easy okay so his his fans just to reply they were like you are astounding you were great you are going to do it again and all that so you guys of course you guys know it's not easy what the housemates are actually going through right now in the house River. yeah so i just like the fact that at least hmm, he has he has really like come to terms with wow what's People actually go through for them in the house there. And he has just, you know, decided to like mm, showcase his gratitude once again and tell all his fans and everyone that contributed in however way they contributed that he is so thankful, he's happy, he's grateful, and all that. So, you guys, that's just it. That's just what I have for you guys. Okay. If you. Whatever you feel about all these, Chomzi, Nina, Adekule, let me see you guys in the comment. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all your, all your juicy juice. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.